Hi, my name is Nicole Webb, and a few weeks back I emailed Carrie Pomeroli. For those of you that do not know who she is, she is a Christian comedian who lives in Hollywood. Upon receiving my email, she immediately called me, and we had about an hour of conversation discussing the email that I had sent to her. Upon our conclusion of that phone call, she had asked me if I would be willing to make a video and send it to her. I prayed about it, I thought about it, and I believe that somebody somewhere needs to hear this little story, so I've decided to make a video. However, those that know me know that I shy away from videotapes and um, pictures, and the only way that I think to do this actually is to just read the email that I sent to her, so that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Hi, Carrie. A year ago we met. Well, almost a year ago. It was Friday, November 6, 2015. You came to Parker, Colorado and spoke at Southeast Christian Church for an evening titled, A Girl's Night Out, a chocolate-covered comedy. You asked me to email you, not email you right away after that evening, but after a while, and when it came time to email you, to please remind you of a few facts. One, I'm the lady who came to Christ and completely surrendered at the age of 42. I'm now 47. I'm the lady who left church that night after your performance, on my way to drive my friend Alicia home, only to drive back to church, for the spirit within led me to do so. And I wanted you to pray over my son, Kevin. I was the last lady that you prayed with that night. I'm not sure if you remember exactly what we prayed about, but I had shared with you that my son has a brain cyst behind his left eye. And that was the only information I had shared with you. I asked that we pray for God to heal my son. Before praying, you had asked me some information about my son. You wanted to see a picture of him, and you had asked if I had a picture of the brain cyst, which actually I did. We had just received the images of his MRI, and the MRI proved and discovered that here's his left eye, that he does indeed have a brain cyst behind his left eye, and here are the two images. His left eye and the cyst is the here on that one, and on white on that one. Upon praying, however, you not only prayed regarding Kevin's brain cyst, you paused for what seemed like a good minute or two, and then began praying about Kevin's eyes and Kevin's stomach issues. I never mentioned anything to you about Kevin's eyes, about his rapid eye blinking and fluttering. I never mentioned about Kevin's unexplained vomiting, about how many days of school he had missed due to his vomiting, about how the doctors were not sure why he kept vomiting three to five times in the mornings, never having a fever, no food allergies, and for throwing up for no apparent reasons. I never shared how my son would wake up and know that he was gonna get sick. He would wake and say, Mommy, it's gonna happen again. And how we would spend mornings together, he vomiting for two to four hours, and then needing to take long naps post his vomiting sessions. I never shared the many times Kevin would ask me, Mommy, why does this keep happening to me? Mommy, what is wrong with me? When you, I, and my girlfriend Alicia were finished speaking and praying with God, you opened your eyes and matter-of-factly just testified that my son was healed. Carrie, for you to pray unsolicited for Kevin's eyes and stomach issues, as well as his brain cyst, was complete direction from God. I am forever grateful for your obedience to him and for God directing me back to you that evening. My son was indeed healed that night. Kevin has not been sick since the night that you and I prayed over him. All of his symptoms have ceased and it has been over one full calendar year. Carrie, it was an honor meeting you that night. I am forever grateful to God, the gifts he has instilled in you and you are how, excuse me, and how you are working for him and for him guiding me back to you. Words can never express my gratitude for our chat that evening, your prayers, and your offer to keep in touch to hear how my son was doing. I'm now praying that God provides me the skills to articulate in both writing 
and all, apparently verbally, this experience testimony, so I might share it with others with whom God knows needs to hear and read about it. Um, just want to say abundant blessings and hugs to you from myself and my son Kevin. And that is my son Kevin. So we just want to say thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Bye.